As part of our six part series on mammograms, we've been working on demystifying the process of the procedure over the past few weeks. You've submitted your questions about mammograms and today we're going to answer some of them. Dr. Denise Reddy with Scottsdale Medical Imaging joins us now with more. Thanks so much for coming on today. Thank you for having me again. I love this because you're answering just real questions from real people. And our first one um, wrote, I want to thank Destry for doing this, which you guys encouraged me come on and do the mammogram on the air, which I did, um, which was important. And I think it did show people, you know, how it all worked. But the question from the viewer is, I chose a 3D mammogram and they want to know what's the difference. Is it more expensive? Okay. So some women like yourself are choosing to do the 3D mammogram and the reason they're choosing that is there's been some studies that have shown that the 3D mammogram detects more cancers and has less of those false alarms. So it's showing a lot of potential. That being said, we don't have national guidelines for it, so we don't know should this be used in all women, should it be used in women who are high risk, or just women with dense breasts. So because there aren't guidelines, some insurance companies pay for it, while others consider it an optional upgrade, and they do not cover it. Okay, so that's good to know. So check with your insurance, your doctors, um, before making any decision like that. Now, there's a lot of news about a task force giving a green light to put off your first mammogram until 50. So our viewer is 42. She wants to know, should I wait for my first mammogram until I am 50? So it is very confusing. The U.S. Preventive Task Force is a panel of experts, and they have said that women should get mammograms every other year from ages 50 to 74. And they've said that women in their 40s benefit from mammograms, but those benefits don't outweigh the risks. And the reason why this is so controversial is because the American Cancer Society and many other societies, and SMILE, recommend that you should get a mammogram every year at the age of 40. And the task force has been criticized because they base their decision on some studies that used old technology that isn't as up to date as the 3D mammogram and other technology we use today. All right, very good. Our next viewer question is, um, she says, my sister had to wait more than a week for her results. And on the program, um, you were saying that SMILE gives same day answers and they wanna know are same day answers as reliable as the results you get when you wait. Absolutely. So we had noticed that women were undergoing a lot of unnecessary anxiety as they waited days for their mammogram results. So we created the Same Day Answers program. And all the, for the patient, the exam is the same. The way it's interpreted by the radiologist is the same. The only thing we changed is our workflow and the way our centers communicate the results. So now a patient has the option when they come to SMILE of waiting 15 minutes for the results of a 2D mammogram or 30 minutes for the results of a 3D mammogram. That's what I did and I can't tell you just just how relieving that is to kind of have the answers right there and then it's very very nice now um, another viewer had a question this one is about radiation and she's worried like if I get a mammogram am I going to get radiation doesn't that cause cancer so the amount of radiation a mammogram uses it's very small it's 0.4 millisieverts to be exact and um, what women don't realize is every day we're all exposed to radiation. There's background ex radiation we're exposed to. A mammogram is the same as about seven weeks of that background radiation. Now cancers can occur in high doses of radiation, but there's never been a study that's shown a mammogram to cause of cancer. So mammograms are very safe and the benefits of detecting cancer early far outweigh the potential risks of radiation. Absolutely. Now what about cosmetic surgery? Because another viewer asked this, I have breast implants, will a mammogram still work? Can it damage my implants? That's a good question. It's a very good question. Mammograms are the only screening tool we have for all women, even women with implants. And the only difference is, is that implants sometimes can hide some of the breast tissue, and this makes my job a little bit harder. So what we do is we have special views that we do on women with implants where we push the implant back and we pull that breast tissue forward so we can see as much of it as we can. Now the compression could potentially cause rupture. It's very uncommon. In fact, I've never seen it happen. So you just want to make sure you go to a facility where the technologists are familiar and comfortable in working with women with implants. All right. And before we go, our last question, um, this viewer says her friend had breast cancer, but it was found on a sonogram, not a mammogram. 
So a mammogram isn't perfect, but it is the best tool we have and the only tool that's been shown to reduce a woman's risk of dying from breast cancer. Um, ultrasound isn't used routinely for screening because it can't see those early small cancers that we can see on a mammogram. So it's more of a problem solving tool. It's great for helping us tell if a mass is a cyst or if it's a solid. And it's also really good in women who have dense breasts. It helps us see through that dense tissue. All right, I feel like I have learned a lot in the past few minutes. Thanks so much for answering um, all of your questions questions and more of your questions everyone will be answered in our next series and the next few weeks we're going to be answering more um, but for more information right now or to schedule your mammogram online you can just get on the computer right now and do it go to eSmile that's e-s-m-i-l dot com or call the number on your screen